Now, we can't talk about Chincoteague without highlighting an organization that has been a staple in the community for almost a century. Yeah, after two fires back in the early 1920s nearly destroyed two large sections of the island, a few men came together to create Chincoteague Volunteer Fire Company, which, as Delmarva Life's Katie Zerilli tells us, has now been serving its community for 94 years. For members of the Chincoteague Volunteer Fire Company, there's nothing in this world that tops serving the people around them. That thank you for helping me is worth more to me than if you put a million dollars in my hand because nothing for the human spirit gives you a better feeling than to be able to say that you've helped your fellow neighbor or your friend or your family or your community. And so for more than 90 years, that's what this company has done. Service for others is their motto, and they do that each and every day by providing fire and EMS services to a town of almost 3,000. We are very proud of what we've been able to do here for this community, and in turn, we want this community to be proud of us. Um, we feel like that we offer the best as far as uh, medics, uh, equipment-wise, things like that. Um, our response time uh, to a, a fire or ambulance is less than five minutes. Paramedic 3, one is responding part two. The station is made up of 32 active members and 60 what they call life members. Uh, life members just means that you've made your 15 year mark and uh, you're not held to, you know, you gotta be there to every meeting or, or everything like that and I've been a life member now for about 15 years, but I still go to every meeting and everything else that we do. So, you know, if it's in your blood, it's in your blood, you're going to go. The heart behind the fire company hasn't changed in more than nine decades, but what has changed is where it's located. They actually just moved into where they're at now on Deep Hole Road this past April. We had to be, well, didn't have to be, but we needed to be all on one floor. We needed all of our equipment in one house. Um, technology had caught up with us uh, big time down there and with a building the age that it was, one part built in the 1930s, the other part built in the 1950s, uh, fire trucks are not made today like they were back then to fit um, in the old building. So we did a lot of modifications and things like that and finally realized, you know, we really need to look at a better solution for today. It does my heart good. I'm, I'm looking at all the, the apparatus out here on the, on the, on the pad out there, and it's, it's just a good feeling uh, knowing that we're here, although it is a little bit bittersweet. But we'll get used to it. And as important as change can be, doesn't it often come with a degree of sadness too? It was anything but easy for these folks to wave goodbye to the building that had been a home of sorts and a pillar in the community for so very long. It's, it's, a, it's almost surreal. Um, we walked in here the other night for a regular business meeting and sometimes I'm looking around and I'm thinking, wow, are we really here? But it was much needed for the community, um, not just for us, not just for the fire company members. We built the station for the community, for the town of Shingatig for our, our residents, for our visitors. Those residents that Denise speaks of don't pay a cent of fire tax. Much of the funding for this organization comes from numerous events they put on, like their summer carnival and, of course, the ever-popular pony penning. These events, of course, do a whole lot more than bring in cash. You know, families come from out of town. If, if people that were born and raised here moved away, they come back at this time of year so they can all be together with their family and friends. It's like a homecoming of sorts for the people around here. When we go into Pony Pen and Week and you've got about 40,000 people around here all to see these ponies come from Assatig to Shingatig, make that four and a half minute swim, I would not be anywhere in the whole wide world but right here during Pony Penning. It's just one of those special, special things that that ties this community together. So really, for Chincoteague, you don't have community without the fire company. The fire company has been such a integral part of this community for so many years that it's, for me, it's hard to imagine not being a part of it. Cheers to nearly a century of selfless service, and here's to 100 years more. 
so excited about that new firehouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, according to Denise, Chincoteague's Carnival is one of only two remaining carnivals on Virginia's eastern shore. And the fun fact about Denise, she's the first female to have joined the fire company. That is awesome. I love that. We love Denise.